the expression below, this expression, describes an arithmetic sequence of numbers. Now, if n is the position of a term in a sequence, which of the following sequence of numbers could this expression describe? Okay, so if if n is 1, so it's the first number, in, it's the number in the first position in the sequence. If n is the first number, okay, in that sequence, then we're going to let n be here in this expression. n is going to be what? So let's write that down in place of the n. Here's n, 3 times n, 3 times 1. And you're going to have your 9 minus 3 times 1 is 3. And that's 6. Okay, so that's the first number. That's the number, okay, that is the first number in the sequence in position number 1. Now we're going to get to the second number. So let this be the second number. It's the number in the second position in the sequence. You'll have 9 minus 3 times what? Not 1 like I had up here, but it's going to be 3 times n, where n is 2. You're going to have 9 minus what? What is 3 times 2? And then you're going to get 3. So 3 is the second number in the sequence. First you go from 6 to 3. So there's your first number, second number, the third number. We're going to plug in for n. We're going to plug in a 3. And you have your 9 minus 3 times 3. So first number, second number, third number in the sequence. Here we go, now, the fourth number. You're going to put a 4, 3 times, not 3, but 3 times, there's 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4, which is 12. And 9 minus 12 is a minus 3. So it's 6, 3, 0, minus 3, and so on. We're going to pick this answer right here.